Good day and welcome to our unboxing, short explanation, demonstration, and configuration of the Dell Advanced Projector, as it's called there, the S718QL. And what it is is a 4K laser projector. Now, if you don't know anything about these things, uh, the nut of it, it goes like this. Previously, a bright light was used to shine against a spinning wheel. The spinning wheel would then project pixels up on the screen. Uh, however, apparently about 70% of the light was lost by using laser. Uh, the high-end laser uh, devices that are seventy, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000, there's one laser per color, red, green, blue. And um, what that does is uh, not have you have any loss of light. So if you're ever in a large room with a very bright projector, that's what it's using. It's probably using laser. Now, how did Dell get the price of this down uh, so much? So when this came out, it was somewhere in the area of about 10000 Canadian which was a pretty big decrease from the previous um, versions. And uh, now it's down to about 6,500 Canadian. And uh, we were able to get this for, let's say more than $1,000 less than that uh, from our Dell rep. And uh, you may ask, well, how did they do that? Well, what, did, what they did is instead of using um, a uh, laser for each color, they're using one laser and they're still using the color wheel. So there's some loss, but it's dramatically better and brighter than the other projectors that are out there uh, that are not laser. So this is a very nice uh, middle ground. Um, this is also an ultra short, ultra short throw projector, which is supposed to get us about 100 inches of display from about four inches off the wall, which is pretty amazing. So without further ado, let's get to this thing. I have not opened one of these before. I do not know what to expect. I can tell you, however, it's very heavy, like shockingly heavy. Pull this out. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. Instructions, which we will go over. Oh, just one side. And let's lift this sucker out. That is heavy. Not terrible, but just heavy. And here's no doubt the accoutrement, the cables, and so on and so forth. Made November 2019, so this is nice and new. What do we have in here? Power cable, don't care. HDMI cable, don't care. Remote control, do care. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, up top, we've got uh, the control panel. Uh, then we have the actual LCD projector. The front here, this is the receiver for the, your infrared remote. Uh, on the sides, there is nothing. If it just fans there, and input there, and on the bottom, you can see it's just adjustments and a clamp at the top left so you can lock it down if you need to. Those legs are, resi are resizable, you can spin them out. So most importantly are the inputs at the back here. Now this projector has a whole bunch of cool functions, one of which is uh, HDR. So HDR is available if your laptop or computer supports it on HDMI 1 only. And that's each, you can see here it's HDMI 2.0. If you're not familiar with what that is, you're going to want to Google it. So we have an old school USB, we have uh, an RS-232 port, but it has a COM port, a uh, network port, Ethernet. We have two uh, output ports for USB. Uh, we also have a second HDMI port, which is only 1.4, and a third one, which is only 1.4. Uh, and then over here, you can see we have a typical USB uh, in, uh, and that is for, you know, plugging videos and movies in. And you can play them and control them through the control panel on the top optical audio out and also a headphone jack uh, if you want to put audio out. However, the best way to put audio out on this is with a Bluetooth speaker. It has a speaker built in, but you can turn that off if you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Um, here are the resolutions that the screen supports. So just take a look at those. Uh, about the only confusing part of this so far has been, when I unpackaged it, I got this key, which I did not know what to do with. And the instructions are great. They say, there's the key. If you don't know what the key is, go to support.manuals. Nope, that's not what it is. I looked it up, went through all of the manuals, trying to figure out what it is. This is the manual. So, just so you know, it's basically garbage, but it, they just made it look really cool and sophisticated, um, which is completely unnecessary. But, anywho, Let's plug it in, see what it looks like. All right, so here's the remote control for the projector. And uh, I don't know why they gave us two batteries, but I'm assuming there's not one in here. So when I turn this, because I see this little tab here, you have to do is turn this, 
and pop this out and there it is. So for some reason there's a battery laying out. I'm not sure why that is, but anyway, let's put that face down and let's turn that back. There we go. So that's the remote setup. Spare battery, I suppose. So this is the image from a BenQ uh, short throw 1080p projector, about 3,000 3, lumens like you can see on the left, which is mounted in the ceiling. It's a short throw, not an ultra short throw, so it's about five, six feet off the wall and the ceiling. And uh, I'll just show you that. There you go. Uh, and you can see that the Dell unit is there. That is the that is the Dell Advanced 4K 718QL. And I put some coasters underneath the stand uh, because our floor is not level in this particular facility. And then I used the adjustments uh, at the bottom of the projector to further tweak it. So let's take a look at the difference. So there's a couple of things to notice here. The first is the size. This image is 11 feet. Um, so that's a pretty substantial image for something that is eight and a half inches off the wall. Next thing to notice is that it's a bit fuzzy at the top. So let's go into the menu and fix that. What I definitely do not want to do is adjust Keystone because Keystone is screwing with the pixels and I don't want that. I want the image to be as clear as it possibly can. So uh, let's roll through here. Half brightness, video mode. I believe from the preview here was under advanced settings. Here under projector settings there's something called focus assist. That's important and I'm going to clear it up. So I'm just pressing the up and down arrow and that is making it clearer already. Notice the in the top right corner where it says Dell S718 QL how clear that is now. It's probably difficult to see in a video but trust me it's making an enormous difference. Let's go down to test pattern. That's nice and crisp. Things are very straight, not perfect, but very close. Back to test two. Color changes, interesting. Okay, so we can see that the colors are coming through good. Let's go back through the menu and look for interesting things. We're only at 50% brightness, as I said. Let's go through different styles. Okay, that's bright. Could be a little darker. Yeah. Custom lets us play with it. I'm just going to go back to either presentation or bright. Let's see what we get here. I think presentation is fine for now. Wall color is white. That's important, by the way. Uh, if you have your wall painted and you don't have a screen, you can set up the colors here and it will compensate for them. So your image will look great. Audio volume. One of the greatest things about laser projectors is that they last much longer than a typical bulb does. So I believe this is rated for 20,000 hours, as opposed to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 maybe even a long life 5,000 bulb. So this projector should last the life of this room. So before we let you go, there are a couple other little things to look at. One is 
in uh, display settings, I can clock this up to beyond normal 4K. So let's do that just for fun and see what that looks like. See if it actually works or if it's fuzzy. It's not the native resolution, so it probably won't be as clear. Boy, that looks just fantastic. I'm going to change it back because in the spec it says that the actual native resolution is 3840 by 214. So as you can see, this is not an HDR video card and it will only support 30 hertz, which still works fine on this, but uh, the projector will support 60 hertz. Uh, so I will change the computer that's driving this to something that is 60 hertz. So probably the best thing about this device is that it uh, brightens up instantly, whereas bulbs seem to take a while. Because this is a laser, uh, it comes up right away. And being, of course, 5,000 lumens doesn't hurt either. On the downside, I've heard the fan kick up a number of times, and I don't know why that is. It's uh, not uh, doing particularly much, so um, I wouldn't expect it to be doing that. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.